hi to Chaco. I thought commentators are not allowed to pick a side. I'm not a commentator, I'm just a streamer. We have uh, Blade Master here with Grunts, by the way, for uh, for focus. The light with the Demon Hunter with uh, archers. No uh, shenanigans there. Here we have a keeper. Keeper for TH. And of course he's going hunters, uh, hunters, huntresses. And here, we oh, what? Human? Did he pick human? Let's see if he picked human. No, they they played random. TH and Infy played random here. Have to shocker and HYZ. Yeah, they lost all the games. They didn't win a single map, so uh, they are out of the tournament. Here comes Blade Master. Uh, we don't does the Blade Master does get the ogre, but now the Blade Master in some trouble. He gets uh, no items because the other item, the other ogre carries the item. Oh, nice entangle on the Grunty Punty here. Grunty Punty is going down. And uh, I think he got XP there. Pretty sure he got XP. Uh, Blade Master tried to deny, but he was just too late. The Demon Hunter and the Archer killing these turtles. He has a mantle of intelligence. He's so smart. The Archmage, uh, what is he doing here? Just running around. With. Oh, wait a second. Have we seen this before? Is this a Tower Rush? Militia. Uh, hunters, towers. There's no hunters yet, though. He only is sending wisps, <laughs> but he only has a keeper, and he's killing this turtle. And he's at level two. No, not yet. He still needs 28 more XP. Sells his TP, buys dust, and uh, here's the demon hunter with some archers. I don't think this towers is going to work, but uh, let's see what happens. One peasant does go down. This other peasant takes some damage here from the grunt. The demon hunter is entangled and surrounded. But this demon hunter, maybe this demon hunter can die. We just saw this last game. Exact same situation. Same blade master saves the demon hunter. What a nice teamwork here by the blade master and the demon hunter. This uh, footman is taking a lot of damage. He goes down. Uh, there, uh, there, run down. Uh, the blade master now. Uh, oh, he's surrounded. No mana for windwalk. Oh, he's dead. And uh, Archmage level 2, these grunts and these archers going for this tower. Oh, nice cancel on the healing salve. AP, AP is going up. We have two huntresses. Another AP is going up. Mubo is going up. We have three huntresses, I mean. This demon hunter at very long hit points. Dead! How, how do you die? Well, uh, like that, I guess. Maybe, uh, well, there's one tower up. There's one AP going up. Another AP being built. There's an AP for defense. Did they random again? Yes. A player's forces are under attack. There's a water elemental. There's a blade master, Rashi Cage. Rashi Cage going for the footman. The footman, Micro's back. Footman, beautiful Micro there by uh, by Infi, of course. The AP AP goes and sits uh, down somewhere. 33 supplying 27 against 31 and 35. Slight advantage here for uh, Infi team in uh, in supply. We have tier two here for the orange team. Oh, actually, only one player has tier two. This this guy is just building huntresses. Only focus has a uh, stronghold. Is he building ancient? Uh, I mean, uh, demolishers. Yes, he's building a demolisher. This demolisher, if he rallies it, oh, and doesn't rally it correctly, this demolisher is dead. I mean, maybe the rally was correct. I'm not sure if uh, he can spawn there. But he, he needed to spawn there. He would have been so safe there in the back of the base with the AP, with all the burrows. He could be killing these APs very fast, very efficiently. Also, Hunters is not very good against demolishers. They're fighting over there, by the way. This archer goes down, but instead he just spawned right in front of the footman and the uh, Hunters and died so fast. He's trying to build another one. Hopefully this one is going to pop out over here. I can't see where his rally point is. Actually, maybe if I go to his rally point. Oh, there is his rally point. But again, it spawns at the wrong side. Uses his peace claw. And, uh... Well, at least he's safe. Maybe he should build a, a passageway <laughs> to the back of space. I don't know. Maybe just hide behind the huntresses of, uh, of Jack. 
Yes, that sounds. Oh, makes an entrance. Look. Makes an entrance into his base. Is it? No, it's not. It's not open yet. No. Okay, now it's open. Okay, he's gonna work on these APAPs. Beautiful hunters fight against hunters fight here. Check is at 38 supply. Um, TH is at 39 supply. Pretty even in supply. The hunters just. These hunters. Oh, we have a glaive thrower. And this glaive thrower. Oh no! This glaive thrower is so dead. Uh, the burrow went down. The demolisher trying to kill footman now with this uh, little uh, attack thing. We have one, uh, two guard towers and two APAPs. APAPs take so much damage from demolishers, but the guard towers don't. But this grunt takes so much damage here in the front. The shadow hunter is almost uh, awake. Meanwhile, we have a counter attack here by Check. He's going for the tree. Now the moonwall. And what is Team Red going to do about this counter attack? Are they just gonna be like, okay, F it, just attack all in? Or are they gonna defend? Seems like they're going all in. With footman, they have defend, they don't die. Going for the demolisher. Demolisher, oh, beautiful base. Demolisher is not stuck there. But uh, with the water and metal over there, the demolisher will eventually uh, go down. The footman just hunting down the demolishers. The hunters is going for the main. Meanwhile, over here, the two moobles have been killed. The demons are killing this guy. The tree of life under attack. TP out here by the keeper. Uh, the APAPs have been killed, of course, because they die very fast. The demolishers are going down, both of them, in fact. And over here, the tree of life is... Uh, we'll see. But the hunters are going down slowly. Uh, we have five hunters attacking. Uh, with the sixth one that's about to die. The hunter is just killing wisps. He's level three now. The tree of life does stay up. Is he TPing to this place? Yes. And they're going to try to kill these two towers. Just two towers. Just uh, two peasants. Wait, but look at this orange army. There's nothing. Even two towers is too, are too much. He's building a defensive tower. Building another APAP. Not APAP. Demolisher. Building another demolisher here. Uh oh. It looks like... I, I don't know. Is TH and... Are TH and Ifing going to win this? Okay, the water metals come in. It's a big one and a small one. It's like a big bear and small bear, except they're not bears, they're water elementals. They get rid of this one tower. Blade Master just cutting apart this water elemental. So it's another one. Nice healing wave. Uh, the Keeper is level three. He has level two entangling goods, level one thorns aura. Nice demolisher. Good demolisher. Next demolisher being built. Nice and tangle on this wisp. It's not a wisp. Um, how do you call the thing? Hunters. The wisp detonated it and dispelled the entangle. This uh, hunters though does go down. What is this? A mountain king. We have tier two here for uh, Infi. With a mountain king, rifleman, casters even maybe at some point if he starts building them. And the two clay thrower defense against all these hunters. Is that enough? No, but with the ancient of war there maybe. With the backup, okay, the wisps come out of the entangled gold mine. They will start repairing whatever they can. Okay, Blade Master, 123 critical strike is beautiful, but he got storm bolted. There's another healing wave though. New over here, we have uh, Huntresses against Huntresses. Uh, we have more orange Huntresses, but we have two Glaive Throwers for uh, Red, who is uh, TH by the way. Both heroes are level three. Stormbolt on a peon. Can he kill the peon? He kills the peon, but with three demolishers now. So this tower is, uh, is probably gonna be stopped here. And both night elves are still a tree of life. Both of the other players are tier two with dual heroes. Uh, supply wise, night elves are. Uh, even both 38, but Infi is a much more supply than focus is 44 against 36. So even if he loses this, uh, oh, but the moon wells that's kind of a waste to lose these two moon wells here for the night elf. He has to rebuild two moon wells. Uh, on the other hand, the orc here focuses three demolishers and nothing else, no other units. So demolishers aren't that great of a unit. Um, 
However, they are pretty nice in 2v2 maybe because your ally can tank with the Huntresses and then the, your Demolishers can kill the Huntresses of uh, TH. It actually sounds like a great plan. He needs a speed scroll though. Oh, he doesn't have a shop? He does have a shop. Speed scroll is pretty nice here uh, for your Demolishers. Usually the weakness is that they move so slow, but if you have speed schools, you can uh, get them out of uh, pinch situations and move them out. Nice and tangle here on this Huntress and these two glaive throwers make sure to kill this Huntress. This Huntress is so dead. Jack loses that Huntress. Jack's uh, uh, the Huntresses are 1-1 one, one, by the way. Only 1-0 here for... Uh, TH, a few wisps go down, turtles join the fight. Go for the uh, whatever. One turtle goes down. We have a level 2 Mountain King now with Bash, of course. He's so much stronger. Archmage is level 3. Blade Master is level 3. Shadow Hunter level 2. Demon Hunter level 3. Spirit Lodge up. He's building a Kodo, Grunts, and also Berserker Strength and Spirit Walkers. Okay. Are under attack. The town, is under siege. town is under siege. Oh no, Kodo is dead. The Kodo is going to die here pretty soon. It just explodes. Claws of deck plus nine. Uh, who's gonna pick it up? Shadow Hunter. Okay. Blade Master does have level two critical strike. The stronghold under a bit of uh, fire. There, here are the demolishers and of course the spirit walkers to defend against this uh, attack. 57 supply for uh, Infi, by the way, but only 37 for TH. So they're pretty equal in supply. Some nice detonations. This uh, demon hunter well, took a lot of damage, but uh, these demolishers, oh wow, they do so much damage against an armored units like these huntresses. But now they're uh, being attacked by the huntresses and they're going down pretty fast. Where's its speed school? You could speed school one of them, uh, the one that was focused to the peons and repair them, but it doesn't matter anyway. Because so all the hunters just die. For TH. It's TH at 29 supply, Infi at 60. Infi carrying TH here, he had more than double the supply of TH. The keeper is all that uh, TH has. Is that keeper be uh, going to be enough? Because we have 44 and 52 supply for the orange team. So, uh, Infi is definitely... Infi's team is definitely behind at this point in this fight. I wonder if TH is stacking and that's why he's, uh, he has so much, so little supply. There goes the Huntress. Uh, more Huntresses may be dying pretty soon. We have a lot of riflemen here. They kill Huntresses super duper fast, but he TPs out. These two Huntresses, they are gonna be, I mean, riflemen, I mean, they are just fine. Peasants didn't TP uh, with because, you know, why would they? We have some Huntresses over there. Yeah, TH is back to 40 supply. As you can see, 40 supply now for TH. 50 here for Infi. 50 for Focus. 44 for Check. Who do you think is the favorite to win the tournament? I mean, so far, it's... It's, uh... Shao KK and 120. They've been playing the best. They've won everything. I'm not sure if they lost a single map. I think they lost only one map, right? One map? I'm not sure about the teams in Group B. Okay, well, uh, this fight is commencing. Beautiful word used there, Chaco. Uh, this, uh, this Hunters goes down. Nice 100 mana, uh, mana burn. You have a uh, roar being used. The Blade Master takes a lot of damage here. He uh, survives. Actually, oh uh, yeah, the, the TH, the Infi, uh, TH used the roar. The Hunters is in the background just trying to kill the Demolishers. They killed one at least, maybe two, because I only see one Demolisher left. This uh, this grunt is so dead. Oh, oh, but TH is down to 29 supply, trying to get those Demolishers. He lost so much. Yeah, I see two dead Demolishers now. This uh, this Huntress, very long hit points. Four Huntresses, 
He's going for this last demolisher. The, uh, demolish, demolisher. Uh, why did he not bring peons or wisp or whatever to repair those demolishers? I don't understand. These hunters uh, are retreating. The army for Infi is still looking big and strong and powerful. 57 supply for Infi. But, is, uh, but the Mountain King is pretty low on both health and mana. So uh, he's retreating. The orange army is mostly mostly hunters though, and they died so fast to the hunt, uh, to the uh, rifleman. One zero upgraded the rifleman. He's not getting another upgrade. He's getting more sorceresses. Using some more healing, clarity. Blade match comes in, chops the hunters a little bit. Now goes for the mountain king. The mountain king is is Michael Beck mana burn there for uh, 100 mana. Oh, ah, there's some grunts dying. Speed skull being used here by the orange team. And the keeper has to TP out, but Infi does not have a TP, does he? He doesn't. Let's see if he loses anything, because, uh, I mean, there's only one raider. Uh, he's going for the Mount King. The Mount King is dead. And, uh, this is pretty difficult now for Infi to hold on here against his super big army. He just has one army. I mean, these are two armies pretty much against one army. This is the Rifleman. Michael back. Of course, beautiful Michael. This priest, same story. He got mana burned for 100, but that's not enough to kill him. Now we have uh, TH back in the fight with Huntresses. This uh, Sorceress is doing just fine, okay? Uh, but just Huntresses. I don't. Actually, the red army now looks uh, favored again. Look at this army against Huntresses. The Blade Master has to stay out of the fight. Okay, he comes in with minimal hit points. We have a mana potion here on the Shadow Hunter. And uh, actually, the red Huntresses all died to the orange Huntresses. 56 and 28 for Team Infi. 49 and 37 for Team Focus. There goes another Huntress. Let's see, 70, 84 against 89. So supply is very equal still. Is anyone going to attack more? Let's see. No, he's still at castle. He is still a tree of life. He as well. Check as well. And focus as well. Okay, no one attacked beyond what we had already. Shockwave, Dangle. Let's see what item they get. This could be a win. Oh wow! Warsong Battle Drums. That's really powerful. Oh, oh! But their main is under attack, and the Mountain King. Will the Mountain King get born, reborn again, or really just die in the altar, or not even die, just never come back? Just the altar goes down. Not the Mountain King. I think. Well, yes, but he gets uh, to the wrong side. Hello. Why not set your rally point here to the back? Nice mana burn for 28. And uh, he's surrounded by Grunts and Blade Masters. The Blade Master uses Entangle. I mean, the other way around. Blade Master gets entangled. And the uh, Mount King uh, goes down. This Wisp, though, goes down as well. Without the Mount King. Uh, the Archmage in a bit of trouble. The Archmage, there's nothing to save the Archmage besides to just, uh, I don't know, kill the Blade Master. Trying to micro his way out of there. He does slowly get out of there. <laughs> this is such a traffic jam there. And, uh, well, the Keeper of the Grove also kind of in the same situation, but uh, it's easier for him to get out of this situation. The Demon Hunter is very low. The, can he save the Demon Hunter? There's a healing wave, but that's not enough. The Demon Hunter does go down. Uh-oh. There goes another Huntress. Oh, the Kodo. Can he get the Kodo? Yes, he can get all of these units. This is insanely good for TH team. Killing so many units here with this slow. And the Demon Hunter, does he buy him back? Yeah, he buys him back from the tavern, of course. This uh, Warsong Battle Drums, so powerful. Oh, uh. Players forces are under attack. It's going we find a water elemental here. 232 critical strike. That's nice. Um 
Okay, come on, level 5 Archmage. Where the hell is Blizzard? I'm not sure if you should go Blizzard. The water elementals are really strong. We have a lot of uh, we have hacks and ensnares to get rid of the blizzards. I think uh, and uh, the retraining is 300 gold. Don't forget about that either. I mean, may I don't know, maybe. Anyway, uh, the water elemental doing just fine. Look against the uh, hunters. They die so fast against these water elementals. This hunters there goes is surviving 15 hit points. Goes for the turtle. Mana burn there on the, uh, on the Mount King. On the, uh, yeah, Mount King. Mount King is back, by the way. With some peasants. Uh, was that the dispel? No, I think the water elemental just expired there. Water, oh, there's a uh, blade master. Look at this block by the water elemental. Making sure the blade master couldn't walk this way. And he can now, maybe, but he doesn't. Uh, this Mount King is just fine. Blade Master of oh, 240 critical strike on the Mount King. He's no longer just fine. He's no, he's still fine. Level six keeper, but no mana for tranquility. But uh, GG, GG, TH and Infi win.